Welcome back everyone. I'm going to do a beach themed coaster today and I've never done this one before so I don't know how it's going to work out or look so we're going to learn together. I'm going to take these shells that I have laying around, some starfish and sand dollars that I have laying around, and some tiny little shells and I will be using uh, these two colors. I will um, link everything that I can link below in the description. So I'm using manganese and uh, turquoise made by Picasso. I got these shells from Hobby Lobby. I'll try to link them below if I could find them. Um, but I'm just going to take them and spread them. Everybody usually uses sand. I didn't want to use sand. I wanted to use a pebble of some sort, but I didn't have the pebbles that I really wanted. So I'm going to use these little pieces of shell, which are very pretty. I just hope we can see the iridescence through the, the color of the water. So I'm just going to take these and lay them flat onto the bottom. I did, as you'll see, I did put them in one layer. And later on, I changed my mind at the end and I just added more so they would be on top of each other. Not quite two layers, but a little bit more than one. And so you're just going to place them where you want them because it's just easier to do without the, the resin inside the coaster mold. And then we will go ahead and get our colors mixed up. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so it doesn't take too long to get through this, this part. Here's a close up of what they ended up like when I was finished laying out down all the shells that I wanted in there. When I mixed the manganese blue, I couldn't get it dark enough. It looks dark in the, in the cup, but I'm looking at it against the white stick. So I did add one or two drops of a sapphire blue pigment so I can get it a little deeper. I'm just going to take this darker blue and I'm going to go over the top third of each coaster. It will, you know, seep in, but that's okay because we want them to join together anyway. For the lighter blue that I was using the turquoise for, I did add a pigment cyan and I added two or three drops to this one just to get it a little bit less transparent. And then I poured that on the second third of each coaster.
I'm just going to take the clear that I have left and I'm going to pour it on the bottom of each one. Now that I have all the shells laying down flat and underneath the resin, I'm going to go ahead and take some little shells and place them where I want them. I will take two starfish for each one and one sand dollar for each one. And then I'm going to let them sit for several hours before I put the top coat on. Here's a close-up after I got everything situated underneath the resin. Now there is a little lip there I'm going to be filling in with clear as soon as it's gel enough to do that. I 
I get these little covers from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, and I just cover up the coasters with them. They're about plate size. They've been sitting now for about four to five hours, and they're really, really gelled up. They're not cured, obviously, but it's good enough to pour the top coat on. So I just want to dome the tops, and I just want to bring this up just past the edge. So if you can dome them good, you'll have either a little or no um, trimming off the edges or sanding or anything on those edges. So I will get these poured and then I will bring you down and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, it's the next day. It's time to unmold my favorite part. And these were domed really well. And um, you can clearly see the unmolding isn't being spectacular because you can kind of see what they already look like, but you'll see the clarity when I get them out of the molds. And there is very, very little to trim off these edges. So if you dome them right, you will have such an easy time um, trimming those, those edges. going back and forth and back and forth on do I put an edge on do I trim them out with a gold or a silver pen and of course my name being glitz and glitter I always have to put a little sparkle into everything and since there's no glitter in these for the first time I had to put some gold pen around the edge and then I'm very happy with the decision I love how they look so this is me doing one of them and then you will see the rest um, all finished thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the new channel that way I can keep making tutorials for you leave me a comment let me know what you think and I will see you guys on the next one